What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrubby here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and uh, today ladies and gentlemen I got a story time for y'all about a spoiled kid that ended up punching the teacher would not want to be this dude So uh, yeah, I figured you guys would enjoy it before we get into it press the like button or no joke No scam you are not going to be on the nice list this year and without further ado. Let's go Nice rack in her ass Brazilian just turned 21 but my bank's a million so it's a known fact that school can be a pretty weird place, you know? There's just a lot of people in one location, and whenever you have a lot of people in one lo location, chances are there's gonna be a weird situation. It just is what it is when you uh, get 700 people together, chances are not every single one of them is going to get along. And the person that sent this in to me had somebody in his class that he definitely did not get along with, which was uh, the least type of person, like the least favorite type of person you'd want to hang out with. A really entitled rich kid, right? It was this rich kid named Xavier, who was in this dude's class that was extremely obnoxious, you know. Not only was he extremely entitled, like just basically thought if you were in a group project, he didn't have to do any work, you know. Just just kind of thought that he could walk in whenever he wanted, would talk back to the teacher super freely. Just overall kind of be annoying. But on top of that, instead of just, you know, doing the normal spoiled rich kid thing of like flexing his new iPhone or just saying that his dad's really loaded and he's proud of it, he would always try to spin it and like flex that stuff you know he was flexing the iPhone he was flexing his dad's money but he would try to spin it into the most humble brag way possible which actually might be worse like listen if you're rich and you're just better than me okay like you think you're better than me because you own a Ferrari a you're not better than someone because you own a car but just tell me that you know but don't be like yeah I actually bought this Ferrari to save the penguins it's like no you didn't anyways for example the type of stuff he would do like oh yeah my dad's last bonus was a million dollars, but he decided to give it to charity because he just didn't need that money. And it's like, oh, okay, so, you know, you're definitely flexing the fact that, like, your dad makes a crap ton of money. If he's getting a million dollar bonus check, he makes a lot of money. And on top of that, if he gives it away, he's got to be making a metric crap ton of money. But then he would spin it and be like, but we gave it to charity, you know, just that type of stuff, which uh, I don't know why that's more annoying to me than just flexing on me but for some reason it is like just tell me you think you're better than me because you're rich so whatever it was always a situation where everyone was like shut up man anytime this guy would talk most of the class would start to roll their eyes and basically turn off their listening because he was always about to flex something and then try to spin it into him being the hero or you know helping people out and when I say the entire class would be annoyed I mean literally the entire class had gotten to the point where they would just roll their eyes and go ugh. But for some reason, nobody said anything. I think the way that he would, like, flex on people, you know, by being like, oh, my dad gave a million dollars to charity. There's really not much you can do to hate on that, right? Like, you can't be like, your dad sucks, because his dad doesn't suck. That's an extremely nice thing to do. His dad is a good man for giving a million dollars to charity. But his son is kind of a nerd for bragging about it, because it's like, you're just telling us you're rich, but making it so we can't say anything. And anyways, in this particular class, the teacher wouldn't say much, but they walked in on this day, and it was a substitute teacher who was in class, a little bit younger than the normal teacher, you know, a little bit more with it, I would say. Nothing wrong with being old. I love old people. We just all know when teachers get to that age where they're, like, barely able to keep control of the class anymore. They should have retired seven years ago. The fact that, like, the school district hasn't given them their pension yet is kind of a crime. And because this teacher was a little bit younger, he started talking to the class, because it's a sub, too. You're not actually doing anything about, like, some gaming consoles, because they're just wasting their time. And whatever, he's just kind of goofing off, and he's like, yeah, I have a PS5 now. I had an Xbox last time, but, you know, I had to get rid of it to get the play. PlayStation 5, but that's the way the ball bounces, and I like PlayStation better. And then, like, other kids in the class are like, oh, yeah, I got the PS5, I play this game, I like that game, and a couple people are talking, and then Xavier, like, jumps into the conversation, cuts somebody off, and says, yeah, well, um, I actually have all the consoles, the PS5, the Xbox One, the Xbox One S, the Xbox One X, and the PlayStation 4, and the PlayStation 3, and basically sits there, and goes on for probably 20 seconds, listing every console. And not only 
only is he listing every single console, but like he's naming some obscure ones, bro. He's literally talking for so long. Homie is shouting out the fact that he has a Sega Dreamcast, which is cool, you know, but like that's how many consoles he said he has. And listen, that's cool. Good for him. But like he literally interrupted somebody's sentence and jumped into the conversation he wasn't a part of to just start listing all the cool stuff he has. And so the substitute teacher doesn't really look at him, doesn't really engage with him any further and just goes, that's cool, bro. Like just kind of obviously shuts it down a little cold you know he didn't go out of his way to say I don't care please stop talking because that would be very very unprofessional and rude of a teacher to do but he basically did everything up to it you know and uh I'll be honest, I, it probably was pretty funny. Like, just imagine the look on this dude's face. He's listing off his giant list of consoles, expecting everybody to be crazy impressed, and then someone's like, okay, cool, and just doesn't engage any further. Anyways, though, Xavier was definitely annoyed. He kind of let out a little bit of a, you know, like an exasperated little gasp, almost as if he had been stung by a wasp. Uh, seriously though, he definitely was a little bit annoyed, and the teacher, kind of sensing that he was gonna keep bragging about video games if they stayed on this topic, decided to, like, change the topic over to something else. Cause he thought, you know, maybe this guy just, like, really brags about video games, that's his thing, he's got a big ego in it, uh, little did he know that it was just everywhere. So he's kind of like, alright, well, what's everybody's favorite subject in school, you know? And the class starts answering, and they're like, oh, I like English, I like math, you know, normal answers. Some people are like, nothing, I hate it, I hate it here you know that type of stuff and once again this like shy girl uh, is starting to answer she goes well my favorite and as she's answering Xavier cuts her off and jumps in and it's like, yeah, honestly, uh, I don't even have, like, a, a favorite subject because I just kind of, like, get A's in all of them. And, like, I don't really have to study. I'm just kind of naturally really, really smart. I think it's because, like, my parents just got me a really good education, you know? I'm also really humble. But, uh, yeah, that's just, like, my opinion on school. I think all subjects are important. And, uh, like I said, I get straight A's in all of them. So, uh, not to flex, but I'm a little bit of, like, a gifted student when it comes to that and the entire class is rolling their eyes and the sub is not the normal teacher not the rest of the class because he just goes wow okay you really have something to say about everything don't you man like my goodness you can kind of rant about anything and the class is almost a little bit shocked that somebody said anything to him because up to this point you know the teacher that they had was this really old person that just like wouldn't really engage just kind of let it slide probably because they didn't have the energy to do with it you know if I was like a 67 year old teacher and some kid was constantly flexing on me I'd be like like, yeah, whatever, kid. I'm three months away from retirement. I really could not care less. But Xavier is obviously not happy with the concept of someone talking trash about him. I mean, how, how dare someone not like him, you know? So he says, what is that supposed to mean, sir? Excuse me? Like, what are you saying by that? That something is wrong with me mentioning the fact that I'm talented at education? Am I not supposed to be proud of my schooling? Like, trying to turn it into this substitute teacher hating school. And the sub just doesn't really play the game. He just says, hey, I've been here for less than a day, and you've literally bragged about everything the entire topic. And on top of that, you keep interrupting people to, like, just rant for 30 seconds about how smart you are or how much stuff you have. And, you know, I understand you probably got a lot of stuff, but yeah, it kind of disrupts the flow of the conversation and isn't the best way to, like, make people feel like you're genuinely joining the conversation for a reason other than flexing. And he just replies to that very logical statement with, well, maybe if you understood just, like, how smart and educated I am on a, a myriad of subjects, then you would understand why I'm constantly trying to interject in the conversation. It's not my fault that the people in this classroom are not educated to my level on most subjects. What do you want me to do about it? Just instantly is kind of like, I'm smarter than everyone. That's why I always interject in every single topic and talk about how awesome I am. You have to remember, I'm smarter than you in every subject. And the sub just kind of shuts it down even harder and says, well, even if you're like the smartest person to exist, you really don't need to tell everybody in the room. You know, like if you really are just such a genius that every single subject is just so simple to you that you understand it at a level at which Stephen Hawking understood astronomy in the universe, then like you don't really need to go around telling everybody about it, you know? And he gives him an honest piece of advice. He's like, if you want people to actually think you're the smartest person in the room and actually an expert on everything just like don't tell them you're an expert on it show them you're an expert on it which is honestly a great piece of advice if you really want people to think you know a lot about something the best way to do it is to like actually know a lot about it 
it's really hard to pretend to be an expert on something because chances are experts are experts at spotting people pretending to be experts. That's kind of how they got the expert thing. So all in all, not bad advice. You know, if it wasn't uh, going to a kid like Xavier, it probably would have hit close to home, maybe made a change or two. But of course, you know, it's a spoiled kid like Xavier that is currently screaming about how he's so much smarter than everybody that he should be allowed to interrupt anyone whenever he wants. So it goes in one ear and out the other, dude. That head was more hollow than a jack-o'-lantern. Kind of like, you know, in Minecraft that you can put a pumpkin on your head? That's kind of the vibe, I understand. Like, that's how hollow I'm imagining this guy's head being. And he's sitting there, and it's almost like his brain is computing this information and deciding whether or not he's just going to poop all over the advice that he was just given you know is he in the mood to uh argue more is he in the mood to surrender and uh does not pick surrender all right guys i'm gonna interrupt the video for just one second on your screen's a gift card if you uh do me a favor and subscribe and turn on notifications you have a chance at winning one of these every single day i give one away and uh yeah big thank you to everyone subscribe with notifications on already and press the like button your mom's a hoe let's get back to it well, honestly, I think that you're just jealous because you're just a stupid substitute teacher and my dad is rich and made me very educated and it's intimidating to you, okay? That's what I think. Sorry that your life didn't turn out and you're stuck being a substitute teacher here instead of whatever it is that you wish you could actually be doing, all right? And everybody in the class is kind of like, damn, bro, that was dramatically unnecessary and way too hateful for no reason. A, the dude's definitely just like a sub while he's in college, maybe getting his master's or something. But B, who cares if they're a sub? Your dad is rich, not you, bro. Like, it really does not matter if you could just cool it. And the sub says something along the effects of like, bro, I promise I'm really not jealous about you. You're getting way too heated. So how about you just relax and sit down, okay, and like calm down because obviously you're a little too upset, which is a, an absolute power move in my opinion. Just don't even engage. Just be like, wow, you're mad, bro. Like, why you mad, bro? You mad? You mad? And Xavier just snaps back. I'm not going to be told what to do by a substitute teacher. I don't even let the teacher tell me what to do. So you're out of your mind if you think I'm going to be told what to do by a substitute. I don't know why this guy is so angry at substitute teachers, bro. Like, did something change? When I was in school and I walked into class and I saw that I had a sub, I was hyped because I knew I literally was probably not going to have to do anything that day. Like, did something change in, in the feeling of substitute teachers? And the sub, though, obviously having to reply to that is like, even if you don't like me right now, I am the teacher regardless. You don't have to like the fact that I'm your teacher. You don't have to like substitutes. I don't really care. But if you're not going to listen to me when I tell you to be quiet, then here's what I'm going to tell you to do. How about you get out? All right. How about that? And everybody's like, oh, 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 you know, as you do, especially if someone's getting yelled at by a substitute, you got to break out the oohs and ohs because it's getting lit. Not only is he in trouble with the sub, but you know, when he gets back to school and the note is there and it's like, your student was entirely disrespectful, that it's going to be the worst day ever for like literally everybody in that classroom. Anyways, he starts to go out of the classroom, but when he gets to the sub, he just goes Aah! and like lunges at him, right? You know, almost an attack formation tiger strike. But instead of like hitting him, it's almost like he had never actually hit someone before. He didn't really think this through because instead of like hitting him on the head with his fist, he kind of does an open palm and just palms his head like a basketball. He was literally so angry at the substitute teacher for like having the nerve to say nobody cares about the stuff that you own that he literally could not make a fist when he tried to hit him, which all in all, you should never hit a teacher. This is the stupidest thing you should do. But like, if you're gonna send it and get in this much trouble, you might as well make a fist, right? If anything, now it was more of like a Rafiki Lion King moment. You know, when he just like rubs the stuff on Simba's head, that's basically what he does to the sub. And the sub is literally standing there kind of confused. And he's like, what, what was that? Did you just try to hit me? Like what? He's literally confused. That's how awkward the interaction is with him just palming his head like a basketball ball. I'm sure it hurt a little bit, but like, did you try to like fall? Were you trying to stop yourself because you tripped? I just really do not understand how you end up trying to like punch me in that situation, right? And he, instead of being like, oh no, I, I slipped and fell, I'm sorry, and realizing the error of his ways because he did just try to punch a sub goes, and I'll do it again, so you better watch yourself. Do you understand me? Like, I'm a crazy man, I'll hit you again. As if the sub saying, did you just try to hit me was fear, which I don't really know what was going Going on in this dude's head but I feel like if you punch someone and they just go did you just try to hit me that's more of a sign that they're really not afraid of being hit again because it means that like 
they literally don't even know if you try to punch them in the first place. And so the like the substitute teacher looks at him and says, I mean, you can hit me again if you want, but it didn't really hurt in the first place. So like, I don't know why you would try to do that again. That was more embarrassing than anything. And the class at this point is like silent, but definitely looking at him with the like, Ugh, you're kind of cringe, dude, please, please leave like that type of look. And so he looks at his classmates and he tries to get some support and he's like, what do you guys think? And they just are silent. They don't say anything. I mean, if he's crazy enough to attack the teacher, I get why you don't say anything thing and he just looks around and goes I hate you I hate you I hate you I hate you and just sprints out of the class but what I love about this is apparently he sprinted like the way overwatch characters do like when when they have an ability do just like very awkwardly which to me is the best way to sprint out of the class you know just just make it funny because hey you're already embarrassing yourself you're already running out of the class you might as well get a giggle out of it anyway he flees the scene right he runs out of there thinking that if he's just not in the classroom when the substitute says that he tried to hit him then he can't get in trouble for it how would i have hit him if i'm not in the classroom mm, a classic blunder Anyways, the sub calls the office and kind of is like, yeah, I just had a student try to attack me and then he ran out of the classroom. And obviously they're a little bit confused. Things like this don't happen every day. So they like send somebody down to take a statement and they get down there and they're kind of like, all right, so what happened? And they're breaking it down and he's confused. And he's like, so he tried to hit you, but just kind of stuck his palm on your head. And they were like, yeah. And everybody in the class agreed on what happened. It's not like anybody countered it. So whatever, they end up tracking him down and you know you would think in this situation you would at least try to deny it a little bit right be like well uh actually what had happened was but he basically doesn't deny it because he thinks he's in the right he like tells the people that are investigating it not that it's a serious investigation like the teachers or whatever he's like no this teacher told me that you know me constantly bragging was annoying i feel like that's not being encouraging of students and for that he should definitely not be brought back and the school was like yeah okay you can think that dude it doesn't really matter if you don't like what the sub said it doesn't mean you can just be running around like smacking teachers and on top of that if we don't punish you for doing that do you have any idea how bad of like a precedent that sets for the rest of the school could you imagine if that rumor got out hey guys did you know if you punch your teacher they actually won't do anything to you next thing you know Oh, it's like open season out there that's a horrible idea so they ended up suspending him for a month and then for the rest of the school year he had to do in school suspension which is the worst at least if you're suspended for a month you're at home dude in school suspension you're at school but you're literally just sitting by yourself staring at like a wall for eight hours Ugh. uh what i would say all in all if you want to avoid having in school suspension for an extended period of time is just don't hit your substitute teacher believe it or not if you do that you can avoid that altogether. i know i know handing out gems but uh yeah on that note guys that's gonna do it for the video hopefully you enjoyed if you did please be sure to press the like button let me know in the comment section down below what you thought and of course subscribe if you're new turn on notifications if you really want to help me out you can check out the intro song linked down below along with a link to my podcast the scuffed cast or of course use code scrubby at the g fuel checkout a great way to get a discount on g fuel and help me out in the process i would appreciate it if you like the story times you can listen to them on spotify i'll put that link in the description be sure to check that out i'd appreciate it and we've got the karen christmas sweater which might be the coolest merch of all time that link's in the top of the description check it out and uh yeah on that note don't get anyone pregnant if you do make sure they're hot and hopefully i'll see you guys all next time with another video i'm out P -p 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 peace